Welcome to another unit in this SPSS course. In this unit, I'm going to talk about moderator effects. Moderator effects, that's as we can see here, the situation that we have an independent variable, which impacts a dependent variable, so the classical regression outline. The independent variable impacts the dependent. The only difference here that we have a third variable, the moderator, which has an impact on this relation. So he actually influences in which way X influences Y. That's usually the way we illustrate this in models. What we actually do here is more like work with this model, where the moderator as a third variable has a direct impact on Y and also has an impact on X. Well, without this impact, so if we ignore this error for a moment, this would be a very easy problem. We would just add the moderator as a second independent variable, then run our model again. First independent x, second independent moderator. So no big deal there. So the real problem is actually here, the effect the moderator has on x. Because if we estimate the model with moderator and x, and the moderator has an effect on x, we will get a problem with multicollinearity. That's actually a big problem. Because this means that the third variable, the effect the third variable has on x, could interfere with the real relationship between x and y. Well, how can we control for this? Well, first, let's run a reference case here on this. For this, go to regression, linear. Then I'm trying to explain the weight of a person. And I first want to explain this by a variable which I call tall. So is someone larger than 175? If yes, then it's 1. If no, then it's a 0. If I click OK, I see here it's a significant impact the variable tall has on the weight. So that's actually an interesting idea. And now we can start thinking, could there be a third variable which has an impact on whether someone is tall or not and on the weight? Well, the first thing which comes to mind could be gender. So what I'm going to introduce here into my model, first off, is gender as a second independent variable. And I activate up here my collinearity diagnostics under statistics. I click OK. Get these results. So what I can see here, first off, both variables are having a significant impact on weight. So this means, if I go back to my upper graph, that I have at least these two effects. So what about this effect? Well, let's check the collinearity uh, statistics. So for example, the VIF, the variance inflation factors back here. Well, the critical boundary is 10. But still, with 1.77, I could at least wager a different try. Maybe there is a problem. So let's check this from a different perspective. Let's just run a chi-square test to test whether variable tall and variable gender are related. So I run here, cross tabs, select gender, oops, gender and tall. With statistics, I go to chi-square, continue, okay. And I see here, this test actually turns out highly significant. So there is a relationship between gender and whether someone is tall or not. So this actually motivates that there is an effect or potential effect here at this point. So it could be that the error goes this way. So the moderator impacts X. 
Could, however, and then we wouldn't have a moderator but a mediator, be that the X influences the moderator. Well, now let's consider our variables. The moderator, the potential moderator for us, that's gender. And well, our tallness or our height does not impact whether someone is female or male. The other way around, it actually makes sense. So here, really makes sense to assume that gender has the function of a moderator. So what can we actually do to account for this effect? Well, in this case, we simply introduce the interaction effect. An interaction effect, in this case, is simply multiplying first and second variable with each other and then introducing this into the model as well. So here I can go to commute, a uh, compute, call this interaction one. Then I simply multiply gender and tall. Click OK. I will get a new variable, interaction one. Then I can expand my regression model. So I just add as additional independent my interaction term. So what I see here, if I go down there, that still tall and gender have a significant impact. The interaction effect has not. So in other words, there might be a relation between those two variables, but it does not significantly impact this solution. If this interaction effect would be significant, then this would mean that the moderator actually interferes with the relationship. However, I see a totally different problem here. By introducing this interaction effect, my problem with multicollinearity increased. And not only by a bit, but significantly. And this will always be the case. So, to take care about this problem, what we can do is we do not use the variables as they are, but we use standardized versions of these variables. So here, this might actually be problematic if I go with 0, 1 variables. So in this case, it would be a bit better that you do not try this with a regression approach but with a two-factor variance analysis. If I, however, would run a similar problem, so same structure as here, but with metric variables, I could just go standardize them, then multiply the two standardized variables and then run the model again. Well, here, even though it doesn't so much make sense to standardize 0, 1 variables, just for illustration purposes, I'm going to do this here, just to show you how this works. So we can go to descriptive statistics, then descriptives, then select the two variables which are important for us, Then down here, we can click on save standardized values as variables. Click OK. We get some descriptive statistics down here. And we will have two additional variables. Those two we will see when next we go to compute variable. Now I'm making a different interaction term, interaction term 2. And for this, I'm using here the Z score gender and the Z score tall. So this times that one, click OK. So I have a new interaction term. And then I just run my regression once more. However, not with these independent, but with those three. The three are the two standardized versions of my main impacts and the multiplied standardized variety. Um, interaction term. Click OK. 
So the results, r squared, f statistic, significance, they are exactly the same. The advantage, however, the multicollinearity problematic, severely decreased. However, the results here are still the same. So even after taking care of this multicollinearity problem, or potential problem, I'm still not seeing any significant impact of the interaction term. So here I can safely conclude that the moderator gender does not impact the relation between someone being tall and this person's weight. Well, that's the main idea I have here. However, what would be if I want to interpret this part as well? Well, then I could take a look here and interpret the sign of the corresponding coefficient for the interaction term. This would tell me whether the moderator leads to a higher or a lower effect on the, from the independent on the dependent. And well, I could also get this if I just compare the base model without moderator parts with the results in this model. And I would see the difference is exactly here, this coefficient. And well, that's done already. All there is on the part on how to work with moderators in the context of a linear regression approach. As I said, the Z score or the Z standardization might help to get rid at least of some part of the multicollinearity in my model. However, if I have zero one variables, a better idea would usually be to go with a two factor variance analysis. So this as a side note, and well, this then concludes this session. So I hope you enjoyed listening to it. And if you're looking for additional input on SPSS, feel free to visit the rest of this course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.